Hey, my name is Sean Sean. I sell art on SeanSean.co and special on eBay. Today we're going to review Dude Perfect and see what we can do for artist videos. All right, the first video we're going to tech from Dude Perfect is their very first video, which is 11 years. So these guys have been around a long time. They just do a video once in a while. I think a lot of their uh, practice videos and such, they have to be uh, really... Um, they really have to be crafted because it takes a lot of practice shots to get these shots, like crazy basketball shots, crazy ping pong shots. So they're probably doing this hundreds of times. The key thing to remember is this is only available, only possible because of digital film and access like YouTube. Uh, in the past, before the digital age, just, just would not be done because it would take hundreds of takes and thousands of dollars in film roll and a kid at... These guys are basically in high school, just around a high school, probably maybe college, screwing around. And this wouldn't have been possible before you had digital film, which is basically free, infinite amount of video takes and platforms like YouTube where you could upload your film for free. And so these two combinations of the feature, these guys have taken advantage of the technology and the YouTube and taken advantage of digital takes to actually get this done. So let's take a look at their very first film. Hello, folks. Welcome to Backyard Stuntman. Backyard stuntman. So let's start off. So one thing you notice right off the bat is it's just like a handheld camera. Maybe they're using their phone. Maybe they're using a really cheap digital camera. The focus isn't that great. But yeah, you get the basic feel of what the whole future series is going to be about. They're doing all trick shots with the basketball, which obviously is super cool. They've had 40 million views, so I don't think they failed on this video at all. <laughs> uh, so let's uh, watch a little more. This shot does not even have a name. Ooh, huh? All right, let's go into the next video. This is one of their more classic videos where uh, they got really popular after that by doing a lot of ping pong shots. I mean, if you've ever played ping pong, you can do a lot of spin. Um, so there's a lot of possibility of ping pong, but you have the air, so it has to be a very quiet room, let, almost no air in it. So it's mostly indoor trick shots, which obviously here you see the film. And you can see their production value is way higher in this. So let's get started. Oreo Dominoes with a little milky splash. Hits the mousetrap, triggers the marbles, makes its way to the bottom. Bang! Hits the mousetrap. Up, up, and away the balloons go. Releases the golf ball, hits the car, makes its way up the track. A little engine that could, makes it to the top, into the bucket, it's party time! So you can see in this particular one, they've set up kind of a mouse trap thing where it's just, you know, ping pongs and little levers and everything. They set up this really long show, which you're going to want to watch all the way through to see what happens in this. So obviously that's a great watch time feature in YouTube is somehow get your video. So it's like they have to see every single shot that increase your watch time, which raises the rank of YouTube. So it's a very clever way to get to the top of YouTube. So let's skip ahead a little bit. How's it going, folks? I'm Ty. Welcome to a little segment called Ping Pong Sing Song, where you comment below the song that I pong. Let's start with an easy one. Turn on your ears. <laughs> comment below, let us know. And they did one really clever thing is they include a shot, the name of the song he's playing out on ping pongs. So he's like, call out the song if you know what the song is. So again, creating comments on YouTube is going to raise you through the ranks. So it's an easy way to kind of add into your video if you add 
hey, what song am I playing? What is this about? What famous artist am I copying? You can put that in there and people are like, oh, that's Monet or that's Picasso or whatever it is. But those comments are going to cause your video to rise to the ranks. And, you know, it's very competitive, obviously, as a painter on YouTube. So this is a great technique you can incorporate from Dude Perfect. Let's go a little further up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the chain reaction. So I think in this video, what's really key is they did the shot and they filmed it from multiple angles. So this time they have a ground shot, they have a behind the scenes shot. And what this adds is it adds more credibility to the, it was actually done and it just builds up more excitement. So if you're filming as a painter, especially like say, for example, plein air, you can shoot like over the, sh the shoulder, you can do detail shots of mixing the paint um, a little bit farther back, maybe a medium shot to shoot Again, the painter's face, you can do the painter on, you know, shot head to head, like I'm doing right now, I'm talking to the camera. So you want to mix up your painting videos to have a lot of those different shots. It'll add a lot more story feel to it and really build up the story to that simple ping pong trick. And you can see that from 11 years ago, they're just shooting one shot videos and they, they haven't thought of yet adding different cameras and really creating that full feel to the stunt. And they, here they're adding the magic of shooting multiple shots. Um, they're excited and they're showing their excitement. So the emotional appeal is way through the roof and obviously it's gonna hit hard with the audience. So let's get into another video they've done. And this one's about rockets. So they're actually firing rockets or changing it up a little bit, kind of superseding the budget, using a really big budget to do this. Launching in three, two, one. So what they've done right here is out of the gate, they have a very strong hook. They show you launching rockets, rockets in the sky, and then they're kind of folding back how it all came about. So they got a really strong summary of the film as kind of the trailer to lock you in and be like, oh, what's this about? Oh, they're firing rockets. So you know immediately um, it's rockets. It's not, it's not something else, not clickbait. So they immediately show what it is. So that's a really good thing to have at the beginning of your video. Always have kind of a really quick summation of the video right up front to kind of say, oh, we are watching what the, the clickbait said. Like the name said, we're gonna paint a painting. Boom, the guy's showing the finished painting. Hey, we're, this is what we're gonna paint today. Boom, you immediately know, oh, this is gonna be about this painting video and you're not gonna click away, right? So you wanna make sure your video is in a clickbait. You can use clickbait features in your video, but you wanna have that kind of true authentic like oh you said it was a painting click it is a painting let's keep watching at the blast zone as you can see we've got our blast shield we've got the launch pad cody is up first it is go time <laughs> so one of the nice things here is they're building up the suspense they show kind of the blast shield they're showing the actual close-up shot of the mechanism to trigger it they say the guy talking about it and then they're going to set it up so Instead of just launching a rocket, you got kind of that nice buildup of, so it builds a little bit of story like, oh, we had to build the wall, we had to set up the control features here, then we set up the rocket out there, and then you come back and then you show that. So that builds a nice uh, solid story sequence to this particular video. Uh, it's me and the traffic cone. Uh, the traffic cone has actually never seen flight, and he never will, because he's gone. I've upgraded to the missile. This time, I read the instructions. This baby, she's soaring high. Let's get a W, baby. Woo! So one thing I will critique is in the last two or three videos, I don't know if it's my internet speed, but the sound tracking is not matching the video. I don't know if they separated and then added music on top and then it's just slightly out of sync, but for some reason that's out of sync. I don't know if it's just my internet download speed. It might just be the case. So it might not be flawed. I would be very surprised if it was flawed because it has 108 million views on this video. But again, you don't want to, you definitely want to check, make sure your tracking's on track. So again, they've used a lot of multiple cameras on this shot close up, shot up from the ground. So you see the rocket take off, shot with the drone. So you see the rocket in the air. They have a camera lo physically loaded on the camera on the backside. So you don't see it when it takes off. But 
you can actually see the rocket take off in space. So you have this all these great multiple camera angles to really build up a story and really build up the suspense and the really the feel that it's a live thing. It's not a CGI effect and just really adds this sense of dr drama and excitement and that it actually happened by shooting those multiple camera shots it really makes a strong video. It fell 10 yards away from the edge. I could have caught it. And you guys have no idea how excited I am that this thing just flew right, let's in the skip air ahead. Because, uh... Cal! And it's... you can hear me! Move! Get out of the way! Two! I do it for the... So it's amazing that the camera actually survived that. <laughs> um, what I'll say on these videos, I'm not showing the whole complete, I'm just doing little snippets. You're obviously seeing multiple, you know, rockets being shot up. The ping pongs are showing multiple ping pong shots. Uh, the very first one, you're showing multiple bank basketball shots. So it's kind of a lot of little mini clips staged together. The great thing about this is because those are all trick shots and they're, you could actually splice this separately so in a youtube video you can go on the analytics side analyze what parts are actually exciting you can clip that and reuse that say for like an instagram a TikTok. um they used to have vine back in the day these probably blew up on vine as well just using those little small clips or you can use those for ads for your video so you know from all those sense of just clipping together all these multiple clips you can really find out what's the best bang for your buck for that next video you do a stunt you're like oh let's do this type of stunt use this more excitement and so they probably analyze a lot on the youtube analytics to make these kind of what particular cuts they want to use and splice them together cut out the boring parts have a lot of build up to those videos with a lot of here's how we prepared it here's how we shot it have a nice trailer at the beginning so you get like oh this is the, what this video is going to be about and really stage that together to make a really crafted you know kind of looks like a do-it-yourself video but Obviously, there's either a lot of uh, skill involved with the ping pong shots or the basketball shots or the mousetrap shots. So that's a lot of planning and just trying over and over and over repetition, literally like hundreds of times. Some of the parts like the mousetrap, a lot of it is going to function. So it's just a matter of, you know, finessing a little bit a part here and there to make it like, whoa, that was amazing. But yeah, just a lot of practice and, you know, probably took forever to get those shots right. But yeah, really cool shots put together. Uh, for painting, I think what you can do is maybe over the top, like graffiti kind of stunts, you know, that might be the well, but a lot of graffiti stunts are unfortunately illegal, so how are you gonna use it in a film? So that's kind of the downfall of graffiti because it is kind of the stunt artist, I would say, element to this, which is on here, but because graffiti is mostly illegal, unless you do all legal murals, then it's not really exciting to the graffiti world, but you might, be like the wow effect but yeah you can do i think there was a huge graffiti mural done in a warehouse i don't remember the the artist per se but it's one of the most seen graffiti artist videos and it's because it's the largest murals and it's just they do these monster mural and they overcoat the mural so that's kind of what you can do from an art world is just the over the top large scale art you know mural work i think is especially kind of you can take the cues from that and put it into um to a mural video per se for your average kind of at home doing a video. I don't know if you're gonna make it super exciting, but you could do maybe 50 paintings in a month. People have done that before. There's an Indian guy, Siraj, and he does like a video a day kind of format where it's like, dude, how many paintings can you do at once? So that's kind of like that wow factor kind of taken into the art world. And that's my take on Dude Perfect. Thanks for watching, guys.